Yo, what's up guys, Jovi back with the video. So, I thought of uploading this video yesterday, but unfortunately uh, I'm not able to upload it. So I'm uh, going to upload it today. Uh, today we are going to see how to make a hard Tory Lance uh, type beat in FL Studio 12. Before getting into the video, if this video helped you in any way, uh, give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can break 30 likes for this video and uh, support me by subscribing with that being said let's get started i've already loaded the samples and instruments uh, so let's hear that i have a piano from uh, nexus grand piano soft and a pad which is from uh, epic pads and the pad is slow and epic and a yc pad from a nexus expansion called Omi omicron and a string pad from the same uh, patch called warm pad and a synth from the same omicron pack wild west and i have a hard 808 i've already tuned the 808 and uh, increased the whole parameter and i have a kick hi-hats snare cymbals and another hi-hat which is open hi-hat and the reverse snare i've made uh, a plot this is the snare I've used. I've cloned that and I've uh, altered some of the parameters like trim. So uh, I'll do that once again. This is the original snare. I've increased the trim, I've reversed it and I've set the uh, in value to about 66% and the out value to about 29% I guess. So it gave me this uh, reversed kind of thing. So now let's start with the chords as usual. Uh, the scale for this chord is uh, F minor. So uh, let's insert all the instruments by double clicking and going to insert one route channel routing, route selected channel starting from this track and reduce the volume. And let's insert a fruity parameter QQ2 and let's cut some of the low ends. So as we know the Nexus Soft uh, Grand Piano Soft is velocity sensitive. So uh, I'm gonna use that parameter and let's create a chord. Um, about this beat I have to tell you that this beat is uh, going to be hard but the melody part and the chorus part is going to be uh, subtle and soft uh, so it's hard to make a beat like this because uh, the hard banging 808s and soft uh, chords won't match easily so let's try my I'll try my best to make it easy for you so let's start with the F minor Before getting it, uh, I'm going to increase the tempo to 151 beats per minute. A sharp 4 and C sharp 5. Yes, this is. So let's adjust the velocity. So this is the chord progression. So now I'm gonna work with the pad. So let's reduce the volume and let's insert the fruity parameter EQ2 and let's uh, remove some of the sounds that we don't need.
so let's layer this with the piano melody I'm going to use the same chord progression but on different octaves. Let's increase the volume for this. If you see, I've used the same chord progression but I've uh, made another bass mode with A sharp 4. So this is it. I'm gonna insert this into the playlist. Let's insert pattern one into the playlist. Now let's uh, go to the second pattern and let's make the pads for uh, the next section. I'm gonna insert a fruity parameter QQ2. Uh, I'll try to make it fast for you. So as you see, I've got the uh, mid section here, and I've boosted the mid section here so that the voices stand out during the other section. So let's copy this pattern and paste it here. So this is going to be our Now I'm going to copy the first uh, piano chords and paste it in the string pad. I'm going to reduce the volume for this as well. I'm gonna go to this scene. So I'm gonna cut some of the low ends of this synth as well. So I'm going to increase the reverb mix here.
so let's insert this into the playlist So let's uh, do a hi-hat roll uh, for this section. So let's insert this into the playlist. And let's do some hi-hat rolls. So now let's work on the eye hats. So let's make the snap to grid one third beat. Let's uh, select this and holding control uh, U, I'm gonna chop it. Uh, I'm gonna stop playing. Uh, how can I say this? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing or hitting the hair hats whenever the snare hits. So it will be like this. with the dynamics so now, low, uh, now let's work on the drum drum patterns I have a 808 kick snare symbols etc so now let's first work on the kick and snare pattern When I listen to it, uh, listen to his latest record address, uh, real addresses. Uh, I see uh, he used a triple kick uh, in some of the places. So I'm gonna do that same. So it was one six two. So now let's hear that. like that so now, uh, now let's work on the hi-hats
let's change the snap to grid to one third step let's stop it So let's uh, pan this one to left, another one to right, just to create variations. So let's also work with the velocity of the other hi hats. Let's again change this to one sixth step. So let's paste it here and I'm gonna make this unique and let's work with the kick again. So let's copy this once again. When I started working on the base, um, it was so hard for me getting the right sound. Uh, when I listened to his, uh, all latest records, he used a uh, different kind of 808 that plays a major role. So uh, I'm trying to achieve the same sound. So I have an 808, it's already tuned, roughly tuned to C. I'm gonna add a fruity fast distort, set it to A. Uh, let's remove some of the high ends from the 808. Let's add a maximus and let's boost some of the low ends. You can also listen to this solo and you can also uh, add bass according to your wish.
in his latest record blow uh, he used uh, 808 as a main drive element so it plays a major role i guess i'm gonna sidechain the kick uh, to the 808 and let's add a fruity limiter let's change this to compressor mode and turn the value to 1 and I'm gonna add a fruity wave shaper to crank up the kick a bit so now, uh, now work on the 808 I pretty much use Excuse me, I pretty much use the same uh, kick pattern. So I'm gonna copy that. So now I'm gonna work on it individually. So now let's add this into the playlist. Since we have uh, excuse me, since we have uh, uh, turned on the whole parameter, I'm gonna use that as a uh, to stop that uh, to stop the eight oh eight immediately. So let's crank up the volume of the 808. See, so as you see, when the snare hits, the 808 stops. It create a nice effect.
So this is the air away. So now uh, let's work with the mixing. Uh, if you see my latest video that is uh, how to master any song in just 5 minutes. I have used the same technique. Uh, I have followed my 3 simple formulas. That is the first level is uh, the first step in mixing is the equalization. As you see uh, we have already done the equalization of pretty much and the next step is leveling and the final step is compression and limiting so after once i'm done with uh, the limiting uh, <coughs> the uh, leveling i'm gonna work on the compression and limiting with the fruity uh, maximus so now let's work on the level This reverse snare effect uh, snare create a nice effect that creates tension in the beat. If I remove the beat uh, sounds mediocre. Once it's done, I'm gonna insert a Maximus and I'm gonna use the Master 8 1 preset. It crank ups the volume and it uh, makes the sound more crispier. Seems we have underruns. So now let's increase the buffer length. Once it's done, I'm gonna insert a fluidy parameter key to two in the master, and I'm gonna create a nice effect, low cut effect like this. Let's. If you see, this knob is moving the frequency knob is moving so I'm gonna click on that and create automation clip so let's increase the length let's copy the value and paste it there
use this sound effect I'm gonna use this uh, rain effect also uh, just to fill up the empty space and create a mode I'm gonna insert this into the mixer I'm gonna cut some of the low ends in the thunder So this is it guys, that's, <clears throat> that's it for uh, today's video, I uh, hope it helped, if, if this video helped in any way give it a thumbs up and share, support me by subscribing, I'll see you in the next video, until then it's Jovi signing out, peace. Okay, after we have done with the critical listening, we are getting into the phase 2 that is processing. Processing means you have to process all your sounds individually like uh, you have to do equalization leveling and compression and limiting these are the three steps in processing